Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Amy D. McKnight, and this is module two, playing with yarn. It's actually, this is actually the last lesson, lesson six. What's next? All right, so in this lesson, you're gonna learn two things. You're gonna learn where to find further information in popular weaving books, and you're also gonna learn what you have to look forward to in the next module, because I have some more cool stuff coming for you. So congratulations. You finished module two. Go ahead and give yourself a healthy, sugar-free cupcake. Okay, I'll eat the healthy, sugar-free cupcake and you can celebrate however you want to. If you haven't already, go back and work through each of the lessons and like make some samples or some yardage of creative cloth. You've gotten a taste of what you can do. Here are some books that will help you take that taste a little bit further. Liz Gibson has Weaving Made Easy. This is a great book. This isn't specifically about, she has some elements of these things in there, but what I would say is use this book to help you get some cool projects that you can use some of these techniques in. They are very straightforward. They use um, threads that are readily available and, um, yeah, this is a really great resource to have for coming up with things to weave. Hands-on rigid heddle weaving, not pictured, but this is a really good book, um, really useful, and it also has some really cool patterns in there. Why, if you do not already have Inventive Weaving um, on Little Looms by Sign Mitchell, she has some patterns you can see here on the cover where there's some that's actually, that's done in a different way than supplemental um, weft, but nonetheless, she has some really cool stuff in that book um, with that incorporates some of the things that I've already taught in this this module. The Ashford book of Rigid Heddle Weaving by Rowena Hart. Um, this is actually really, really cool. I don't hear people talk about this one as much, but this is a really fun book. It has a, a wealth of different, infer, different aspects in there, and it covers... Um, a lot of the things I've talked about in modules before, module before, and it also will cover some things I'm going to be talking about in a future module. So it's really worth getting, and, it, and she does have a section on tapestry weaving on the little and rigid head loom. So that's another great book to get. And finally, The Woven Home. This was by Rain Owens, and this book is actually a book about tapestry weaving, um, but it's got a whole lot of really great ideas for things that you can make really um, straightforward pro projects that you could crank out a ton of them on our rigid hill loom so just look at the idea in the project and instead of just focusing on doing it on a tapestry loom you can take some of the ideas and do them on your rigid hill loom yeah so oh yeah and then Modern Weaving by Laura Strutt I don't have that one pictured but that's also a really cool book that focuses on tapestry style weaving but the techniques and ideas can be taken over into rigid heddle loom weaving and <laughs> um diy woven art by rachel denbow this is another fun book if you don't have it it's a really cool one um the, the these last three are ones that you may want to just pick up in your library um the woven home by rain um Rainy Owens is one that I think that she sells directly. So I think you have to get it directly from her. I'm not sure if it's on Amazon or not. Um, she actually sent me a copy of it before she released it, which was really sweet of her. Um, and yeah, it's it's a really cool book. It actually does have a, a lot of great information about tapestry weaving in there. The other two, you can get them from your local library. All right, so in this lesson, you learn where to find purpose, find more information in popular weaving books, um, and what you have. And I'm about to tell you in a minute what you have to look forward to in future the next module. But first up, I want you to go ahead and take some action. If you have not already, fill out that playing with yarn game board. It will make sure that you've tried out all the different steps. And when you're done, take a selfie with it. And if you're in the community, post it in the community. If you're not, I don't know why you're not, but nevertheless, post it on social media and I'll come and give you a great big heart and probably leave you a comment. Now, you can get the game board by checking in the description box below and you can see a link where you can go and find a way to download it. And again, I always wanna invite you to join my weaving community. 
there's some really amazing people in there. They're not just amazing weavers. They're just amazing artists in general. And just that whole artist vibe of people who are just getting stuff done. You just can't, it's not something that you're going to find anywhere else. There's no, there's no place like, um, I know I'm biased, but I really believe that there's no place like my weaving community. And if you're not there, why not? Just join. It's like really cool. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell. Share this video. It's going to be helpful to somebody and you may not know who. Coming up in our next module, we're going to learn how to weave lino, Brooks bouquet, Spanish lace, Danish medallions, how to use pickup sticks, and how to hem stitch. Watch out. So that's a very full module and I cannot wait to share this information with you. And I guess I will see you in that next module. Bye.